And joining us now to discuss is political analyst and legal scholar Paul Ingracia. Great to have you back on the show. What's your take on Jill Stein? Is she secretly a MAGA girl? <laughs> well, the way that the Democrats are treating her and the way that Kamala Harris and AOC are fretting about her being on the ballot in, in certain states, I think so. I mean, um, you know, obviously this election could be close. I mean, I think Donald Trump is, you know, in recent weeks especially, is really pulling away with the, the leads, at least based on polling and what we're seeing sort of in betting markets and on the ground grassroots momentum. But, you know, again, if it, it comes down to being another close race, you remember back in 20, uh, 2016, you know, this race between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump was decided by like 50,000 votes between three or four swing states. So, you know, Jill Stein, even though she might only get one or two percent of the vote, maybe at most, that could be enough to sway a state like Michigan, which is very close um, in Donald Trump's favor. So she definitely could play the role of spoiler candidate, you know, kind of taking from those Bernie Sanders sort of dis disenfranchised Democrats, so to speak, the people who don't feel like they have representation or a voice within the Democratic Party, particularly populist type voices with, on the left. So I think she can be a factor in this race. I'm glad she's in the race and um, it definitely is to Donald Trump's advantage. Yeah, MSNBC said they've never seen Democrats run ads against a third party like this. And uh, Trump says he's a big fan of Jill because she pulls 100% of the votes away from Kamala. Uh, but 